welcome back to Cotton Creations. So today I'm super excited to share this vegan recipe with you guys because I've been working on it for quite some time just to get it just right for you. And it's one of those summertime favorites that you can throw on the grill and I just love it. So it's none other than vegan barbecue ribs. Yes, I said vegan barbecue ribs. So if you're interested in this video, please stay tuned. And if you haven't done so already, make sure you hit that subscribe button like right now. And if you have, thanks for the support. All right, let's hop into the video. So to get started, we're gonna use two cans of jackfruit. And what I did is I washed them like about three or four times with water and drained them. And then I'm gonna put them in the pan with some water and some barbecue sauce and I'm just gonna let them cook until they're very tender and I'm able to shred them. Next, in a separate bowl, we're gonna go ahead and prepare our seasonings. We're gonna put together some nutritional yeast, some smoked paprika, some onion powder, garlic powder, and sea salt. And you wanna go ahead and mix them together until they're very well blended. And then in another small separate bowl, we're going to mix together our soy sauce and some liquid smoke. And we're using the smoked paprika and the liquid smoke to give it that really nice, smoky, uh, barbecue flavor that you are used to having in ribs so now that the uh, jackfruit is all done we're going to go ahead and shred them the hard part of them we're going to discard and then there's also something in there that looks like a little pea or um, seed we're going to discard that as well and we're going to shred the rest of the jackfruit uh, I will say if you want you can leave it in bigger chunks um, you don't have to necessarily uh, shred it do like fork shreds if you don't want it still will work out if you want it to have a few like chunkier pieces which is fine but these ribs are similar and mimic country style ribs um, a little bit in terms of the texture so next we're going to go ahead and transfer our jackfruit to a mixing bowl and to that we're going to add our seasonings. I would highly recommend that you only use half the seasoning at a time um, but if you put it all in at once it still should be fine but I generally do half first and mix it together and then I add the other half. And then once the seasonings are all done and nicely blended with the jackfruit I then add our liquid mixture to it. And I typically do that half and half as well. Um, but yeah, so just make sure you mix everything very, very, very well and all the jackfruit is nice and coated. Next, you wanna go ahead and grab a baking pan. And I am using a glass pan. I'm just spraying some cooking spray into it so it doesn't stick. And unfortunately, I got rid of my square pans um, thinking that I wouldn't need them, but clearly I do. So I'm just gonna have to rebuy it. Um, but what I'm doing here is I'm still putting it into a square. Um, and just make sure you don't flatten your ribs out too much because you still want them to have some thickness because, I mean, this is ribs. So you don't want it to be like flat like a pancake, of course. So just make sure you um, smooth it all out and make sure you still maintain some thickness. So once you're done smoothing your ribs, you want to go ahead and place it in the oven uncovered and then we'll get started on our barbecue sauce. Of course, you can use whatever barbecue sauce that you choose to use that you like. Um, for me, I love Sweet Baby Ray's barbecue sauce, so I'm using some of that today. But I do add some things to it, so I'm adding some apple cider vinegar, some grape jelly, and some Jack Daniels. 
I'm sorry, I did not measure any of it. Um, so if you guys really want my barbecue recipe, let me know and I'll have to remake it and just get the measurements right for you guys. But it is a really, really, really good. So once your ribs are done in the oven, we're going to go ahead and cut them in half and we're going to get either a grill pan or a flat pan or a frying pan um, nice and hot with some oil in it and we're going to go ahead and either grill or fry them in a pan until they have a nice crispy coating on them. So next we're going to go ahead and add the barbecue sauce onto one side of our ribs while they're in the pan or on the grill. And then once we put them back inside the baking pan, we're going to flip them over so that the barbecue is on the bottom. And then we're going to add a coat of barbecue to the top. And then we're going to put them back in the oven to let them cook all the way through. So once you're done coating both sides of your ribs with barbecue sauce, you're going to place it back in the oven uncovered to let them firm up. And this is what your ribs should look like once they're out of the oven. And then what you want to do is take a knife and cut them into actual rib slices. Now, I would highly recommend that you use either a steak knife or a serrated knife. Um, I didn't realize that till after the fact that those knives are the ones that cut these better. Um, so you can get a nice clean cut if you use the right type of knife. And now it's time to plate our ribs. And I paired mine with some collard greens and some vegan cornbread. Yummy! So what do you guys think of this vegan recipe like my taste testers cannot stop talking about these vegan barbecue ribs that i made um uh, i really 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 enjoy them they remind me of country ribs the ones that are very meaty and they kind of you know the meat just shreds off so it reminds me of those more so than like let's say a baby back rib but either way if you are craving barbecue ribs like this is a super easy super quick well i won't say quick but it is a very super easy recipe to follow and you get those bold like rib flavors and that barbecue flavor and it's something that you can put on the grill as well so let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below if you like this video make sure you give me a thumbs up and if you want to see more videos like this one be sure to subscribe right now so you don't miss out and thanks for watching